Have you ever wondered how some of the most life-changing inventions came to be? We often imagine brilliant minds toiling away in labs, meticulously planning their breakthroughs. But the truth is, many of the things we rely on today were born from fortunate blunders. Yes, you heard that right, accidents. From everyday conveniences to life-saving medications, a surprising number of significant discoveries were the result of accidents or mistakes. These serendipitous moments remind us that the universe works in mysterious ways, often leading us to unexpected and remarkable outcomes. In 1928, Alexander Fleming, a Scottish scientist, returned from a vacation to find a peculiar mold growing in a petri dish containing Staphylococcus bacteria. This wasn't unusual, but what caught his eye was a clear halo surrounding the mold, indicating that it was killing the bacteria. This accidental contamination led to the discovery of penicillin, the world's first antibiotic. Penicillin revolutionized medicine, saving countless lives by effectively treating bacterial infections that were once fatal. Fleming's accidental discovery ushered in a new era of medicine, showcasing the power of observation and the unexpected benefits of a little bit of mess. In 1895, Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, a German physicist, was experimenting with cathode rays when he noticed a strange glow coming from a nearby screen. Intrigued, he investigated further and discovered that the rays could penetrate solid objects, including human flesh. He named this invisible radiation X-rays due to their unknown nature. Röntgen's accidental discovery revolutionized medical imaging, allowing doctors to see inside the human body without surgery. The impact of X-rays on medicine is immeasurable, enabling the diagnosis and treatment of a wide range of conditions, from broken bones to tumors. Percy Spencer, an American engineer, was working on radar technology during World War II when he noticed something peculiar. While standing near an active radar set, a chocolate bar in his pocket melted. This unexpected observation led him to experiment with microwaves and their ability to heat food. In 1945, the first commercial microwave oven, the Raider Range, was introduced. While initially expensive and bulky, the microwave oven eventually became a ubiquitous kitchen appliance, revolutionizing the way we cook and reheat food. Thomas Adams, an American inventor, was experimenting with chicle, a natural latex from a Central American tree, hoping to create rubber products. Despite his best efforts, his experiments failed, leaving him with a sticky mess. One day, while chewing on a piece of chicle out of frustration, he realized its potential as chewing gum. Adams added flavorings to the chicle and began selling it as chewing gum. This accidental discovery led to the creation of a multi-billion dollar industry, satisfying our chewing instincts while freshening breath and even reducing stress. In 1968, Dr. Spencer Silver, a scientist at 3M, was attempting to develop a super strong adhesive but ended up creating a weak, pressure-sensitive adhesive instead. This failed adhesive had the unique property of sticking lightly to surfaces without leaving residue. Years later a colleague, Arthur Fry, found a use for this seemingly useless adhesive. He used it to create bookmarks that wouldn't damage his church hymnal. Thus, the post-it note was born, revolutionizing office organization brainstorming and leaving reminders on refrigerators worldwide. Roy Plunkett, a chemist at DuPont, was working on refrigerants in 1938 when he accidentally discovered a slippery, heat-resistant substance. While experimenting with tetrafluoroethylene gas, he found a white, waxy solid had formed inside a pressurized cylinder. This substance, later named Teflon, proved to have remarkable properties. Teflon's non-stick and heat-resistant qualities made it ideal for a wide range of applications, from non-stick cookware to aerospace engineering. Plunkett's accidental discovery transformed our kitchens and found its way into numerous industrial and technological advancements. John Pemberton, a pharmacist in Atlanta, Georgia, was experimenting with coca leaves and cola nuts, hoping to create a medicinal elixir. In 1886, he accidentally mixed his syrup with carbonated water, creating a refreshing and invigorating drink. This accidental concoction, initially marketed as a brain tonic, soon became a cultural phenomenon. Coca-Cola, with its secret formula and iconic branding, has become one of the most recognizable and popular beverages worldwide, demonstrating the power of chance in a good marketing campaign. 
1853, George Crum, a chef at Moon's Lake House in Saratoga Springs, New York, was frustrated by a customer who repeatedly sent back his french fries, complaining they were too thick. In a fit of pique, Crum sliced potatoes paper thin, fried them to a crisp, and seasoned them with salt. To his surprise, the customer loved them, and potato chips were born. This accidental culinary innovation became a global snack food phenomenon, satisfying our craving for salty, crunchy goodness. The pain-relieving properties of willow bark have been known for centuries. In the 1800s, scientists were able to isolate the active ingredient, salicylic acid. However, salicylic acid was bitter and caused stomach irritation. In 1897, Felix Hoffman, a chemist at Bayer, synthesized acetyl salicylic acid, a derivative of salicylic acid, while searching for a way to ease his father's arthritis pain. This accidental creation marketed as aspirin became one of the most widely used medications in the world, effectively reducing pain, fever, and inflammation. Aspirin's impact on medicine is undeniable, providing relief to millions and contributing to numerous medical advancements. In 1879, Constantine Falberg, a chemist at Johns Hopkins University, was working with coal tar derivatives when he noticed a sweet taste on his hand after leaving the lab. He traced the sweetness back to a compound he had synthesized, saccharin. This accidental discovery led to the creation of the first artificial sweetener. Saccharin, despite its slightly bitter aftertaste, provided a sugar-free alternative for diabetics and those seeking to reduce their sugar intake. Charles Goodyear, an American inventor, was obsessed with finding a way to make rubber more durable and resistant to temperature changes. In 1839 he accidentally dropped a mixture of rubber and sulfur onto a hot stove. The resulting material was strong, elastic, and weatherproof. Goodyear named his accidental discovery vulcanization after Vulcan, the Roman god of fire. This innovation revolutionized the rubber industry, leading to the development of tires, footwear, and countless other products that rely on durable, flexible rubber. In 1928, Alexander Fleming, a Scottish scientist, returned from a vacation to find a peculiar mold growing in a petri dish containing Staphylococcus bacteria. This wasn't unusual, but what caught his eye was a clear halo surrounding the mold, indicating that it was killing the bacteria. This accidental contamination led to the discovery of penicillin, the world's first antibiotic. Penicillin revolutionized medicine, saving countless lives by effectively treating bacterial infections that were once fatal. Fleming's accidental discovery ushered in a new era of medicine, showcasing the power of observation and the unexpected benefits of a little bit of mess. Scientists at Pfizer were initially developing a drug called sildenafil citrate to treat angina, a heart condition. During clinical trials, they noticed an unexpected side effect. The drug was causing increased blood flow, not just to the heart, but to other parts of the body as well. This accidental discovery led to the development of Viagra, a medication that revolutionized the treatment of erectile dysfunction. Viagra's impact extends beyond its intended medical use, sparking cultural conversations and becoming a household name. Harry Coover, a researcher at Eastman Kodak, was working on materials for gun sites during World War II. He stumbled upon a substance called cyanoacrylate, which proved to be incredibly sticky, bonding to anything it touched. Initially deemed a nuisance, cyanoacrylate's potential was later realized. Superglue, as it became known, found its way into households and workshops worldwide. Its ability to quickly bond various materials made it a versatile tool for repairs, crafts, and even medical applications. Roy Plunkett, a chemist at DuPont, was working on refrigerants in 1938 when he accidentally discovered a slippery, heat-resistant substance. While experimenting with tetrafluoroethylene gas, he found a white, waxy solid had formed inside a pressurized cylinder. This substance, later named Teflon, proved to have remarkable properties. Teflon's non-stick and heat-resistant qualities made it ideal for a wide range of applications, from non-stick cookware to aerospace engineering. Plunkett's accidental discovery transformed our kitchens and found its way into numerous industrial and technological advancements. As we've journeyed through these accidental inventions, 
we've seen how chance encounters and unexpected outcomes can lead to remarkable discoveries. These stories remind us that progress isn't always linear, and sometimes the greatest breakthroughs arise from the unknown. The universe is full of surprises, and our ability to embrace the unexpected often leads to the most profound innovations. So, the next time you encounter a mistake or an accident, don't dismiss it. Instead, ask yourself, what might this lead to? Who knows, you might just stumble upon the next world-changing invention.